So I was just walking along the street towards the hospital and he just collapsed in front of me like a fallen log. His heart had stopped. It was terrifying. This is the story of my first experience at a cardiac arrest. What's up Groovy Gang, Asmine here. I'm a doctor from London and I make videos about medicine, science, life as a doctor and learning new things. If you wanna see more of this kind of video, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time new videos come out. It really helps the channel. It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. So this is a story time about when I encountered a cardiac arrest for the very first time. This was back in my fourth year of medical school. In the UK, we have either five or six years of medical school. Usually it's the first two years are preclinical. Then I chose to do one year of neuroscience followed by the final three clinical years. And this incident happened in my first clinical year. So I just started my placements in the hospital, shadowing doctors, going through the different medical rotations to see what they're like. I think I was on like rheumatology or gastroenterology, something like that at the time. So this was a completely normal day. I'd woken up, gotten ready, taken the tube to the station, and I was just walking out of the station going towards the hospital. And then as I'm walking along, I see something strange happen in front of me. There's this gentleman and he just collapses in front of me. And the way he collapses, it's just like a fallen log. I knew then that something was seriously wrong. So I went up to him. Thankfully, there were a few other doctors and healthcare professionals en route to the hospital. They were there to help out. It was an elderly gentleman and by the way he'd collapsed, it was quite obvious he'd lost consciousness. The doctor checked his pulse in the neck and checked his breathing. Neither were there. His heart had stopped. His breathing had stopped. He was having a cardiac arrest. So what do you do in a cardiac arrest? Start CPR, obviously. Chest compressions, chest compressions, chest compressions. But in that moment, I panicked. Do you know the best thing? My basic life support course was the literal day after that. If it had happened, like, on the way home tomorrow, then I would have known exactly what to do. But no, it had to happen the day before. Of course, that's why we have to prepare for these scenarios. Having said that, this was my very first time. So the doctors who were already there, they moved him out of the way and obviously checked for signs of life and started chest compressions immediately. And I was just standing there not knowing what to do. I think I like checked the pulse in his wrist or something. And the doctor was like, no, he's not gonna have a pulse. His heart has stopped. He's in cardiac arrest. I was like, oh, oh yeah, that, that sounds about right. This guy had just completely turned blue. He was ashen, his eyes open and I'd never seen anything like it before. This gentleman on the floor was essentially dead in front of me. The doctors were trying to revive him. So the chest compressions were ongoing and thankfully some passers-by managed to call 999 for an ambulance. The paramedics soon arrived, which was handy because we were very near a hospital. The paramedics got to work on him. They put the defibrillator on him and it seemed like he was in ventricular fibrillation. That's a heart rhythm where you are able to provide a shock in order to try and restore the heart's regular rhythm. And so because the paramedics were on scene and had the situation under control, I walked away to give them some space. But I walked away from there thinking, <sighs> what could I have done differently? So I imagine the scenario if I were the only one present at the scene. I made a video about the importance of CPR when Christian Eriksen, the footballer, collapsed during the Euro 2020 football matches. So feel free to go and watch that video. So here's what to do if someone has a cardiac arrest. First things first, check if they're responsive. Call out their name, shake their shoulders, shout in both ears, hello, can you hear me? And if they're unresponsive, you can check the pulse in their neck and you can see their chest rising for breathing for a maximum of 10 seconds. Having said that, it's even difficult for medical professionals sometimes to try to feel a pulse or check for breathing. So if you suspect that they've had a cardiac arrest, if they're non-responsive, if they're not breathing normally, shout out for help. If you are alone, then call for the emergency services on your mobile phone, for example, 911 in the US or 999 in the UK. 
Chest compressions, chest compressions, chest compressions. They are by far the most important measure you can take to try and help that person's survival. And if they're awake and alert, the person will let you know that you need to stop chest compressions. So don't be afraid of it. Nowadays, it's probably not advisable to start doing mouth to mouth given the risk of COVID and other infectious diseases. However, if you have an automatic external defibrillator or AED available to you, then do not be afraid to use that right away. The machines have written and audible instructions to tell you exactly what to do in the scenario, so even if you have no experience using it before, it's always worth giving it a go. If their heart stops, they're dead already. So the worst thing you could do by putting on the defibrillator is bring them back to life. So those are the main steps you need to take. Check if there's a response or if there are any vital signs. Call for help immediately. Start chest compressions and use a defibrillator if there's one available. Those steps will go a huge way to potentially saving someone's life if they have a cardiac arrest. Okay guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this story. I hope you've learned something. If you did, please leave a like. It helps the channel out so much. Consider subscribing below and hitting the bell icon to be notified for new videos. And until the next time, stay groovy.